For more than 20 years, the International Space Station has been flying around Earth, hosting hundreds of astronauts and cosmonauts from around the world flying on dozens of expeditions. In that time, hundreds of experiments have been performed at the outpost by its crews that are changing the way we understand the world and benefiting all of us on the ground. But to get to this point required 13 years of on-orbit construction and dozens of rocket launches. Building this palace in the sky had to start with a first piece, the Zarya module. Zarya, which means dawn or sunrise in Russian, was the first element of the ISS to be launched. It took to the skies on November 20th, 1998 atop a proton rocket from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Measuring 4.1 meters wide and 12.6 meters long, this 19 metric ton module is roughly the size of a city bus. Fully stretched out, its solar panel wingspan extends some 25 meters. However, these were retracted in 2007 to make room for massive radiators to be unfolded at the station's integrated truss. Also called the functional cargo block, the module provided the initial power, storage, guidance, and propulsion for the fledgling space station. The module has three docking ports, one on either end as well as a third Earth-facing nadir port at the forward docking sphere. Since December 1998, the forward docking port has hosted the Unity module via a connecting pressurized mating adapter. The aft port has hosted the Zvezda service module since 2000. For the first 12 years of its on-orbit life, the Earth-facing port typically saw progress in Soyuz spacecraft docked to it. However, in May 2010, the Rastaviat Mini Research Module was added. Inside Zarya is a single long corridor that has various panels with compartments for either storage or equipment, such as communication panels, gas analyzers, dust collectors, various power and data outlets, etc. While Zarya was critical in the early years of the ISS, today it's mainly used for storage, as well as for an area of privacy for cosmonauts during their morning hygiene routines. Zarya's design dates back to the TKS spacecraft originally intended for use in the Soviet-era Soyut space station program. While they were originally intended to send crew and cargo to early outposts, only four test missions were ever flown. The cargo section of TKS, the functional cargo block, was ultimately used to form the basic structure of several modules around the Mir space station, which orbited Earth between 1986 and 2001. Zarya also had this basic design. It was built in Moscow between 1994 and 1998 at the Khrushchev State Research and Production Space Center. However, much of the funding came through U.S. contracts for a total of roughly $220 million. A spare was also built, which is now intended to fly as a science module to the ISS. Called NACA, its launch has been delayed since 2007 for a variety of reasons and is currently expected to launch within the next several years. What do you think of the Zarya module? Did you know it's actually the oldest human inhabited object in space? I didn't know that. Let me know in the comments below and be sure to tell me what topic you'd like me to cover in the future related to human spaceflight. If you haven't already, please like and share this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, and follow Orbital Velocity on Twitter and Facebook. You can also head over to orbital-velocity.com for even more space related content, including a monthly newsletter called The Space Capsule. Links are in the description below. Until next time, Ad Astra.